Here we have the Garilla GWX 2507 1500 kV motor. This was sent in by Edward Lee from China. This is the third motor that he sends me for testing. So thanks uh, Edward for sending it. Much appreciated. He sent the T motor 1806 2800 kV and the 3BR 1606 3500 kV. Uh, that was a, a about a month or so ago so those uh, I tested and they're on the channel so this one's another interesting motor that he sent uh, this was previously only available in China I believe I had never seen it before but now I did see it available through Banggood so that's that's pretty good quite a interesting size of motor 2507 fairly big and some pretty interesting specs it says it's made out of uh, 7075 aluminum it's using Japan NSK bearings it also says that the shaft is hollow and it's titanium alloy if that's true then pretty pretty good construction on the motor so what I've also seen at Banggood is that they come in sets of four okay so here's the motor pretty conventional construction for the most part except for the way they capture the shaft right here they're actually using a metric uh, lock nut so that's kind of interesting works pretty good I think but I still prefer the Eclipse or circlips. Uh, th those are pretty easy uh, to remove and, and you say you actually save weight because with this one you have to make you have to extend the length of the shaft so that you could have enough thread to thread in the lock nut that adds a little bit more material on the shaft but it's quite effective it's pretty effective and easy to remove so it's, it's got that going for it but uh, circlips or eclipse are the easiest uh, you don't need uh, that much shaft extension and they're not that hard to remove uh, once you remove the fuel you know how to do it uh, the one thing to notice is that the base the mount of the motor it's a little bit on the thin side as you can see there not a, not a lot of material I guess they they decided to save weight on the base I like to see a meteor based on that especially for a motor this large hopefully the material is strong enough and the base won't be an issue the mount screws the pattern is the typical yeah it is 16 by 19 so that's a pretty standard mount pattern all right so let's see what it weighs this is with uh, 80 millimeters worth of wire 42.4 42.4 grams and if we cut off the wire so that uh, they're only 50 millimeters you would remove that much wire so that's 1.2 uh, so 41.2 41.2 grams with 50 millimeters worth of wire so not exactly light but you know that's to be expected uh, this is pretty pretty large motor to disassemble it's actually quite easy uh, you uns remove the lock nut it's got a it's got a brass washer there and then the bell just comes apart there's another brass washer there bearings they don't have any markings but they do say they're NSK and uh, they do feel pretty tight um, one way I usually check which is it's not uh, you know it's not scientific or anything but sometimes I'll just look at it on under the magnifying glass and kind of like try to move the inner race and then if you see it that it, it sways from side to side then you know the bearing is kind of loose so not not a high quality not a high grade bearing but if I don't see any movement then uh, at least you know it's not loose. Okay, so let's uh, let's look at it under the magnifying glass so we can have a closer look. Okay, so here's the bell. Uh, magnets are pretty good. They they do seem to be a little bit curved. There's the balancing epoxy, and there's the shaft, which is said to be uh, titanium. Not sure if there's a way to. Uh, to distinguish you know which material it, it is in fact but anyways there it is and here's the stator looks like they're using multi-strand wire on, on these uh, on the windings and the stator height uh, yeah it looks like it's the nominal seven millimeters so there it is uh, so overall, uh, pretty good uh, construction on the motor. Everything looks and feels uh, pretty okay made, you know, pretty well. Everything feels solid. So let's uh, put this back and uh, 
we'll put it on the thrust stand and see how the motor does. All right, so here are the thrust uh, test results for the Garilla GWX2507 1500kV motor. It actually measure at about 1475 kV, pretty close to the stated kV, so pretty close, just slightly lower. So I went ahead and tested on several voltage uh, from 3S to 6S, depending on the props. On 5 inch and you want to have uh, similar performance to other motors of higher kV, you know, the typical kV is 2300-2500 kV. Uh, you'd want to run at least 5S. Then on the 6 inch props, on 4S also a little bit low on, on thrust, uh, so you'd also probably want to run uh, 5S. Uh, then 6 inch uh, triple triple blade props, uh, looks like uh, 4S is pretty okay I think. Here's the 4S uh, thrust on the Ideal 6048 and here's the 4S thrust on the DAL TJ 6045x3. On 5S, a pretty good uh, amount of uh, thrust there for this uh, 6048x3 prop. 
and uh, then we move on to the seven inch props this is that funky dys prop uh, doesn't show that good performance on the thrust stand i never tried this prop in the air so i i don't know how good it would be in the air uh, and i haven't seen anybody posting anything about it so it's a mystery don't know how this prop would uh, fly sometimes the props don't show good performance on the, the on the thrust stand but you know they'll fly just they'll fly okay amps are okay you know they're not that high so it could be a usable prop then we go on to the hq prop so this is kind of a new prop a new meaning it came after the 7045 so this is the 7040 which uh i thought it would be better a uh, little bit more thrust but it's okay you know on on 4s 1369 at 30 amps i was expecting a little bit better efficiency but you know the thrust stand it doesn't show to be that that way so i was actually kind of surprised to see the 7045 uh, do much better as you can see higher thrust for less amps kind of disappointed on that 7040 and this was kind of a surprise the dal j7040 at least on the thrust stand Again, getting these numbers here doesn't mean that it's going to excel in the air. Uh, we still have to test it in flight because sometimes props will behave uh, funny in flight. It may have uh, too much vibration or they're like really hard to tune. So we really need to try this. And I haven't seen anybody try this one yet, so I, I don't know. So I don't know how good it, it's going to be. But at least on the thrust stand, you know, here's some numbers that you, to give you guys an idea. Well, the good thing, you know, these props are cheap. If you get them for some, from your bell zone, it's free shipping. So, you know, it's not bad if you get a set and they don't work. You could just toss them, you know. Pretty impressive uh, performance, I think, uh, on, as you see, on 4S, a lot more thrust than the HQ7045. And for just a slightly, a few more amps, you get it's getting more thrust. And on 5S, it's uh, quite a lot of thrust, you know, 2,100 grams. And the amps are pretty manageable, I think. Uh, you know, for this motor, you're going to be using a sort of a large uh, LiPo, maybe uh, maybe a 2200 or, or a 26, 2700 uh, milliamp battery. So it should be plenty of battery to handle uh, the load. And these props uh, were sent in by Edley together with the motor. It's uh, some unknown brand. I uh, that's available in China, but it's it kind of similar to the APC props. So it's an 8045MR, uh, similar to the Genfan or APC props. And the uh, performance was just okay, not uh, you know not the best. I tested uh, on on 3S and on 4S. So amps are a little bit on the high side, and uh, the thrust uh, not as not that much actually very low thrust for like a lot of amps again i, I don't know how this would fly uh, but if these uh, results here are, are any indication they're, they're not uh, not very good props all right so those are the thrust test results for this motor i uh, hope you find these uh, data useful these motors are now available through banggood this is the 1500 kv so i imagine the higher kv motors will perform uh, quite well too so uh, so okay so hopefully this is useful to you guys uh, and thanks for watching and until the next video